Thanks for having me back. Good to see you. So, so uh, very strong numbers uh, with, with some records in there for the quarter and, and the full year. So, so congrats on that. My first big picture question is, uh, as you look for the year ahead versus the year past, do you think total data usage will be down as, as we come out of lockdown again? No, I don't think so. I, you know, I think customers are showing an insatiable demand for what we sell. And they've been doing that, by the way, since the mid-1990s. This industry has never been able to, to outpace the demand of customers for Internet capacity. And that bodes well for us because what we're building is the highest capacity network that Americans have ever seen for mobile usage. And it's a huge part of our story being so far ahead in 5G. And I don't think customer demand is going to slow down one bit. So, so uh, clearly, as you said, 5G, you're, you're, you're very competitive on and rolling out trying to get new 5G ads. Uh, do, do you think pricing will allow, 5G will allow you to increase pricing in the next couple of years as well once you've attracted as many 5G customers as possible? Well, it's interesting that, you know, right now there's only one player that's able to simultaneously offer the best network and the best value, and that's T-Mobile. So that's an advantage we're not going to want to give up. But to your point, what's interesting is we're increasingly a premium offering with the best network. And that means customers may deepen their relationships with us. They may buy more from us. They may buy up our stack and get more valuable plans from us. And so that bodes well for our business, but not through price increases. It's through having the highest capacity, highest quality network and attracting customers who want that. So the analysts do agree that you've got the momentum on 5G among the big three coming into this year. My question, Mike, is, is how that presents a different opportunity for you. You know, Verizon has always been the one that can claim the best service, and that's been a huge plus. For you, it's been the value proposition. Does that change when, when you can claim to have the biggest and fastest 5G networks? Do you get a different type of customer and, and a different sort of marketing slogan? Yeah, Sarah, and we're just entering the time period when people really care about that. You know, for most Americans, they don't have 5G yet, but they will. This is kind of like being in 4G in 2010 when Verizon got out in front with the best 4G LTE experience way back then. And, and eventually that became the network. That became the thing everybody cared about. And, of course, they led on that through the decade. We are out in front on 5G. And customers are just starting to discover that and care about it. What it's going to ultimately translate to is the best network experience. So suddenly, we, you know, this industry won't make people choose between do you want the best value or the best network. One player will be positioned to offer both, and that's T-Mobile. Do you expect the cable companies, Mike, to try and compete more uh, for wireless spectrum in the years ahead uh, as well as uh, fixed line? Of course, and that's in the run rates. They've been after this for a couple years and surprisingly successful. Um, on the other hand, the dynamic you're going to see unfold in 2021 is the reverse, which is we're coming after their business. And we have this highest capacity network that's ever been built for mobile users. We're going to take it right into the home Internet market. And that's how high capacity it is. Gigabit potential speeds, terabyte potential capacities per customer. And we're going to market this service in 52 percent of zip codes across the country. That's more than Comcast or Charter. My final question is just on where the consumer is, Mike. 1.7 million additions. Obviously, this, this coincided with the new iPhone, and, and things were very promotional around that. How, how, how much do you think the customer wants to upgrade to 5G, and, and where does that go throughout the course of 2021? Almost every um, flagship phone that gets sold now is 5G. And so it's really a matter of the upgrade rates that people have. And I think we're going to start to see that pick back up. Again, customers will discover in 2021 through FOMO, seeing what their friends have, those first users of those first galaxies and iPhones, they're going to see something great and they're going to want a piece of it. And what they're going to find out is when they get 5G, what they get from T-Mobile is totally different than what they get from AT&T or Verizon. In fact, four times more landmass covered by, 4G, by 5G today from T-Mobile than from Verizon. Four times, 1.6 million square miles. It's absolutely amazing the advantage that we've been able to produce, and we're not slowing down. We're running the biggest network expansion factory that's ever been deployed in this country right now. We're going to take our lead from 106 million people with the highest capacity Ultra 5G to 200 million people just inside of this calendar year. So we're not slowing down and we're not looking back. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.